First free throw from Suplaag is no good. Second shot is also no good. And it's Da'a with it for Consolacion. Da'a will drive it once again. Almost gets his own miss. But a swarm of blue shirts there gets the rebound. Batukan crosses over. Aguilar. Pinoy steps his way inside, but hindi lang naipasok. Get oh. on the offensive rebound. It's oh, good. sayang. Da'a leaking out, but ball stays with Consolacion. Meron tayong substitution. Da'a slips. Tumira ng tres. No good. Batukan with the rebound. Ahead. Guerra open in the corner. Yes, sir. But Da'a leaking out on the other end. He's going to try to slam it down. No. Just soft touch. <laughs> Muntik na. Batukan. Down low. Nice fake. He scores it. Gonzaga will fire a three from distance. Quick trigger there, pero hindi lang naipaso. Guerra. Esperat for three. Wide to the left. Batukan with a steal. Batukan tried to scoop it. Malas lang. Da'a will drive and almost. Oh, in your face there. Sayang lang. It's Guerra. Ayaw din magpatalo. The rim tap. Dai Dai tumira ng tres. Yes, sir. And the turnover there from Sid Lakdanao. Hindi lang nagkaintindihan dun. No one was looking at the passer. Here comes Gonzaga. Fires another three. It's short. To see Reason Gonzaga. The smallest guy on the court. Good pass there, Guerra. Aguilar 4 3 on the corner. Nope. Mungkopa with the rebound. He's going to push the pace. He's gonna Slam it down! Slam it, Jim! Mungkopa, the FEU Finals MVP. Heavy Tyrells represent. Giving our super fans a show. As Aguilar loses control of the ball. Let's take a look at this super jam of the game by Kirby Moncopa. Brought to you by J Project Clothing Shop. Our official outfitter. Guerra lays it up. Oh, and another sorry miss. Herbito is going to try to slam it down. EJ Herbito. Joining the jam party here, the Cebu City Sports Institute. Get off for three. No good. Da, hindi pa nakadakdak itong si Da. Nabitawan lang eh. Nabitawan. Jelly lang yun. Is Batukan. Small guys of consolation. Pestering Batukan there. It was clearly fouled there by two defenders. Ito yun eh. Tingnan natin ulit. Ito si Jedrick Da. A super jam of the game. 
Tid sa atin ang J Project Clothing Shop, our official outfitter. Silang tatlo na. Oo. As Gera misses. Da. He's gonna try and slam it down. There you go. Jedrick Da. Dun. Nadakdak niya yun. Oh, this time it will be like a slama jama party. Hagila for three. Wala. Wala. Mongkopa. Again. It's good. Timeout. We have a mandatory timeout. And it's been a jam, slam a jam a party here. Super moment of the game. Hatid sa inyo ng SCD Peeling Lotion, Kirby Moncopa. That's his second jam of the game. Shout out to the cameraman pointing at the camera. Balik tayo after the break. Malay gets fouled again. So he will once again trip free throws Kanina. And as you said nga, the outside shooting talaga, or what it's called on social media, the Steph Curry effect talaga, di ba? Finn and Klo has already two possessions in this ballgame, parehong three-point shots nila. And they haven't made anything. And I cannot blame them for doing that because they are left open. So with that point naman dito sa ating uh, um, Tai Tai Builders, they really need to defend inside yes. so they're doing well defending inside they're not allowing the ball to get dumped inside yeah they are yes. all set to just shoot from the outside so this could be one of their key things or their defensive strategies As Kulanay misses fourth free throw so three out of four na siya ngayon sa free throw line but still no field goal for either teams but it's three to nothing for Tai Tai Builders here comes a drive good kick Oh, good uptake, step back, three-pointer. Still no goal for Finn and Claw, but there's an offensive rebound. And another turnover for Finn and Claw. Here comes Tai Tai Builders. Good pass underneath. Kulanai overshoots, and once again, he will troop to the free throw line. We can already see the difference of both teams. Tai Tai loves to go inside the basket. Dito naman sa Finn Claw, they are setting from the outside shots. We cannot blame them. Maray natin sa kanilang training. Ito ang ginagawa nila. Ito ang kanilang mga strengths as a team. But what I want to see different, I know it's too early to say, meron silang Perez. Yes. In their team, I just hope that they will acknowledge his presence by dumping it to the post. Let's see, let's see the difference. Because he is the tallest guy on the court right now. So, let's see if he's going to make an adjustment. Yes. Kulanay once again, Andre. One out of two from the free throw line. But all four points in this ball game have been by Carl Kulanay. But he's on the free throw line. Lahat. So, still no field goal for either team. But right here, it can change. Good drop pass. But it's just a little for Perez. But on the second serving. Is good right there. There you go. This is what I'm talking about. Ang ganda ng kanalang adjustment from uh, staying outside. They went inside naman kanalang Perez. Yung lang, he may be missed. The big la, baka nasani lang siya puro sa labas lang sa shumushut. Pero at least ganyan din up sa kanya yung bola sa post. And Desabel ang naka score that time. And look at the blitz right there by Finn and Claw, but they give it underneath. No goal. Look at that rebound right here by Luis Perez. Here comes Finn and Claw. Attacking the baseline, tried to drop it off to Perez. Narinig ka ata, Andre. They're mm -hmm. trying to feed the big man in multiple back-to-back -back possessions. Uh, yun nga, and yung maganda rin dito sa Tai Tai Builders, when they realized that Perez was always open or getting open, three men, if I'm not mistaken, we could look at the yes. replay, three men are going on Perez, defend team. So alam nila, ibibigay sa kanya yung bola. So ang ganda right. ng adjustment ng both teams. So we really don't know at this point kung ano ba talaga ang strength nila. Are they supposed to be shooting from the outside? Is it pick and roll, dumping to the post? Ito nga, yung sa Tai Tai Builders, they are getting their points made or their second chance points sa free throw. Right. Ito Christian Samson to the free throw line number 66 for Tai Tai Builders and again a miss from the free throw line but right here the interesting part about this they're drawing fouls talking about Tai Tai Builders they may 
have not been shooting well from the free throw line. That's their third miss from the free throw yeah. line. But nakukuha nila ng fouls itong big men ng Finn and Claw, no, Andre. And that's going to be a disruption sa rotations ng Finn and Claw. Oh, yes. That's going to be a big... I mean, also, as a undersized big man myself, it's going to be very difficult to get the ball if they know sa'yo ang strength ng team or ang play. So, ito naman ang adjustment sana wow. ng Finn and Claw is to always attack the basket. Because we don't know yet... Kasi they're shooting from the outside. So, that means they are confident shooters. So, malay natin sa kanilang free throw, doon sila makakabawi sa kanilang mga score. Right and right here. Bumawi naman si Alexandre Gazingan. Right there. Gazingan to the free throw line and our referees are asking for an official's timeout right here. Kasi yung shot clock, nagkaroon ng error dito before mag-free throw si Gazingan. So he will have to reshoot the first free throw. And interesting to see, Andrea, both of these teams, yung coaching staff nila, is marked by PSL veterans. I say PSL veterans because itong Finn and Claude, they have Marvin Hayes, Mac Macardona, JJ Helterman, and Rico Marhofer. JJ Macardona and Marvin Hayes played for Boracay Islanders no pro league natin. And Rico Marhofer was an assistant coach of Boracay. Dito naman sa kabila, Ernest Ala who played for the Davao Occidental Tigers din no pro league. So, may pro coaches, assistant yes. coaches ang parehong koponan. And this is what you will always want to have on your team. You don't need to ask advice you don't need to ask for what to work on coach i'm under 18 i want to make it to the pro division anong kailangan gawin of course makikinig ka sa mga kuya mo sa mga veterans mo so i'm sure they have amazing advice for our young kids right now and the way they are playing it is familiar with the way the pro division is at now so kumbaga masasabi ko lang same level sila kasi ito nang yung difference lang yung intensity and i guess shot selection ng mga bata natin ngayon samson with a good steal samson the euro step and finally the first field goal for Tai Tai Builders. Mm, they know what to do. They are attacking the basket. I I guess I can say right now, Finn and Klo medyo nawawala sila sa defense nila. They don't know who to close out. They don't know who their nearest man is. So kahit may man to man, kailangan mo talaga mong ganap the nearest man. So dito nga yung Tai Tai, they were able to find an opening kasi wala nga nagbabantay sa kanang maigi. First J jitter, jitters, maybe? No? Could be the first game jitters or nabulaga lang sila kasi no uh -oh. one is defending them hard. And another missed shot right there for Finn and Claw. Number 31, Desabel. Here comes Tai Tai. Lozano. Manning the point. There's a blitz. They give it to the elbow. Hook shot Whoa. is good. Right Against there. a taller defender. And this is oh, another nice. scary sight to see because if they were scared at the first few seconds, now Perez will be there to defend. If they can attack him, Tai Tai Builders might be able to adjust their game plan by going inside. It's finally an outside make, Andre, by Gazingan for three. They're now one for three. Itong Finn and Claw from the three-point line. And this is what they were looking for, an outside shot. So if they heat up, we never know kung sino nga sa kanila ang pinaka-shooter sa kanila. So maybe nga the Steph Curry effect is working on them. That's right here. Oh, what a layup right there. But Alexandre Gazingan, a five-to-nothing run all on his own. We have shooters on the outside for Finn and Glow and also aggressive players who like to attack the basket. So this is an amazing combination that coach has put right now. Right here, try to go back door, pero hindi nakita. What will Tai Tai answer? A drive, De Leon, what a move right there! What a way to read the defense. Kitang kita niya, yung big man is not in the patent area. So of course, if it's open, go for it. If you don't take the shot, mahita magsisi sa ulit. Toto. So right here, oh, it's an offensive foul whistled on Finn and Claw. So another turnover for Finn and Claw. I mean, yes, under 18, they still have this energy that they don't know how to um, divide if it's going to be on their emotions or sa game. Yes. So kita nga natin, medyo may kind of a little bit of shoving, I guess, you know, being aggressive. So they have to take care of that because every foul counts. May hirap talaga yan, you know, kung maghahabol kayo or kung hindi, every foul counts. Three stake. Gives wow. it. Oh, that would have been a tic tac toe, but they still get the shot off and a basket for Tai Tai Builders. That was a nice oh, shot fake to confuse the defense, but the teammate was not ready to, to get the ball, but at least they made it work at that point of the play. Four points now for Castillo as Finn and Club gets it to their big man, and he is fouled. And, tingnan mo yung big man lineup, Andre Netong. 
Finn and Claude. They had Anina and Perez. Nakita mo, di ba? They're force feeding him because of his size. Ngayon naman, Briggs Reyno, number four, who's at the free throw line. Napakatangkad. Interchangeable. And like you mentioned, if you didn't mention it, I wouldn't have noticed they've switched big men. Kasi ganun kalaki and ka-aggressive ang mga big men ng Finn and Claude. So let us see, kung ano ba siya? Is he the traditional big man that you dump to the post? He will just look to the basket and shoot? Or baka meron, mami, the Dirk effect naman yung he gets the post, the uh, ball supposed, and do fade. We never know. So let us see how he plays out. Well, of course, coming from you, eh? undersized big man, di ba, mga ganyan. You have to develop other skills to fill that lack of size, di ba? Yes. You are an athletic big when you played. And then, like, develop an outside shooting, I remember. And then, yung hustle mo, ang, like, what made you special. I remember yung 20 rebound game was a PPA wow, D League, di ba? I actually forgot about that, but honestly... <laughs> As long as you know your role, that's uh -huh. all you have to focus on. And like we mentioned earlier, our players right now are still trying to find their roles in their team. It could be first game jitters or they're just very intense or excited to be playing right now. Gazingan gives it a three-pointer in and out. But look at that. Height is might. Another offensive rebound. Para dito sa Finn and Klo. Gazingan, jumper, no good. And finally, De Leon clears it for Tai Tai Builders. Finn and Klo, no? Fast break, pull up three. Back in the day, papagalita ka na coach. But at least <laughs> what you like to see now, they can shoot, they have the green light. And that's mm -hmm. the confidence the coach gives the players now. And it's really nice to be playing around coach that it gives you the green light and you have the freedom to play your game. And yun din naman na, the freedom, di ba? Kasi alam ng coaches din dito sa 18 under na gustong magpakitang gilas nito mga players na to. To have an opportunity to play college basketball as a miss by Gazingan once again. One for six na from the three-point arc, etong Finn and Klo. Here comes Tai Tai. Triste. Oh, good steal. What good defense by Reno by showing, and that's one of the great specialties that you can have as a big man by using your height and your length on the defensive end. But Tai Tai trying to use their speed. Early offense ang ginagawa nila dito. Oh, good pass underneath. Finding De Leon Goles with the dish. Finiclo needs to needs to talk to each other. Are they doing a zone? Are they doing a man? Are doing one to two? Because at this point, we don't know what defense nila. Kaya yung Tai Tai builders are able to find another way to get in the basket. As well, I tip, but on the second serving, there's a foul. Reyno being lucky at this point in time because the Tai Tai builders are not boxing out, and that is very important. The little things matter. You have to box out the nearest man. At this point in time, kailangan yung ibasa ang pinakamalaki. Let's look at this good find right here, finding De Leon underneath for the easy layup. Yan ang ating super dime. At it's inyo na J Project clothing shop. 11 to 9 ang ating score in favor of Tai Tai Builders. We will be right back. Back here inside the Kalaokan Sports Complex as it's a two-point lead for Tai Tai Builders and PSL. It's powered by Converge Fiber X. Iba na ang nakakonverge. And of course, J Project Clothing Shop. Napakaganda ng mga jerseys dyan. And tingnan mo na lang yung jersey ng Tai Tai Builders, Andre. J Project yan. Nakakaingit, no? <laughs> like, kahit we are here as anchor and analyst, gusto mo na magsuot ng jersey. Sobrang ganda ng kanilang jersey. So, malay natin, next game natin, naka-jersey na rin tayo. Very soon, dadating ng uniforms natin from Ayun, J Project. I so, yan na. <laughs> right here, Reyno to the Two free throw line. Kanina, Bricks, one out of two from the free throw line. Let's see in this second trip naman niya. Misses the first one. And that's short. And you can see, no, Andre, yung mga players ngayon, talagang may giggle factor pa. Mm -hmm. Every time they get the ball, they're not looking to make a good play, uh, the right play in terms of passing. Mm -hmm. 
and giving it the giving up the ball first lahat dinadaan sa bilis sa athletic so fast, ability at the oh. same time ang kanilang experience kahit na may experience look at the way they play these are moves that you will not see maybe 5 or 10 years ago mm -hmm. kasi very robotic mga I guess players natin ngayon they have the freedom and yung maganda nga dito yung kanilang coaching staff is already from the higher or pro division so they give them yes. the freedom and confidence that they need because these are the building blocks that our young players need to achieve yung kanilang mga goals so college pa lang oh, what more if we see them in their individual schools ang laking Right. Tulong, pasasalamat na na dito kasi grabe ang mga experience na makukuha nila dito sa ating liga. Right, as Placido kanina, pasabit move and you told us about yung yun nga, yung marerecute sila sa college and makikita natin. I just want to take note and we had three players debuted for FEU yesterday sa, wow. sa game nila na played for the PSL 21 under champions na Champ Visayas like champions, Consolation Sorok Weavers, Keaton Clyde Tabernal, Rodjan Montemayor, and Paolo Dalumpines. All played for Consolation na naglalaro sa Visayas. So, that's the opportunity na mabigay, mabigay ng PSL. As another foul is drawn right here, is it before the buzzer? Referee says yes. So, another chance at the free throw line for Finn and Klo. That's number 12, Garcia, ang pupunta sa free throw line. And like going back, yung maganda dito, I'm obviously when me watch ang ating ibang division, 21 and pro division, mm -hmm. bihira lang tumawag ng foul. Dito kasi makita natin, we have to give it to them. Ang kanilang intensity. Hindi yes. lang sa offense, pati defense. These are fouls, yes, you could avoid, pero you gotta give them credit. Always look at the brighter side of things. Mm -hmm. They are being aggressive. So hopefully, sa ating uh, upcoming quarters, makaka-adjust sila dun. Yes, and I'm looking at this, and this is something that's a trend sa mga bata. Mm -hmm. Since 21 under pa lang namin, Andre. Ooh. You free throw shooting. Both teams are not are shooting high number of free throws, but they're not making it as there's a pressure. But another foul on Finn and Claw. They tried to blitz goalies on the pressure. Only foul on number seven. As it's seven, penalty eight, na for both teams, so it will mean free throws na for goalies dito. And tai tai. Ito lang iminens mo. Both teams are not shooting well, so we don't know if it's part of their game plan to get them off the rhythm by shooting free throws. Pero mahirap eh. Both teams are kind of struggling. Malay natin nga. We gotta give to them first game jitters or. We don't know who's not doing extra work. So very important <laughs> yan. If you want to show your pro coaches na you deserve to be in the next level or at least college level, show yes. them your extra work naman. But malay natin, they do their extra work. But yun nga lang, yung kabanan dyan pa. And they're still, you know, 18 below. So mm -hmm. we got to give that to them. And that is coming from, you know, a pro level player who played for Blackwater in the mm -hmm. PBA, di ba? So you know what it takes to get to that level. So itong mga bata na to, they're dreaming of that. It's different from... Magkaiba yung pinapangarap mo sa talagang tinatry mo kabutin, di ba? Mm, ito, naaabot na nila. Kasi ito nga yung maganda dito. Under 18. What's after under 18? My 21, 21 under, under to develop some more. Or if not, mali natin. You're very advanced. Doon ka na sa division natin. So sa ating pro. mga kuya sa pro division. So it's yes. exciting. We have three leagues. And I cannot wait to see our future stars in that league. But for now, focus muna tayo dito sa under 18. It's Garcia in and out from three. And look at Taitai. Tai. Every time they get a rebound, they're trying to push in Nabasa na. Agad ng Finning Claw is a long three pointer. Is missed. And here comes a three on one fast break. Taitai Tai Placido. Nearly got that layup to go, but there's a foul right there on number seven, Gazingan. Foul on number seven, Alexandre Gazingan. Third personal foul by Alexandre Gazingan, Andre, mm -hmm. on the first quarter pa lang. That is something we have to take, I guess, consideration is he being aggressive or not. Pero nakita ko sa kanya, if you are going to foul or maybe a challenge, put both hands up. That's all mm -hmm. I have to say. Just go back to the basics. Kung matatakot kang ma-posterize or mali. Wala, it's part of the game. <laughs> yes. We don't know kasi alam naman natin these days, social media, takot sila ma-highlight. But it's okay. Uh -huh. It's part of the game. Ako nga, kung makita ko may na, may na ankle break or na-posterize or nagandahan ng offensive move to the basket, it's okay. You have to give props to the defense. Ay. Ganun talaga yan. So we don't know if that's what they're trying to avoid or nakalimutan lang nila yung kanilang oh. basics. Yes, and this is coming from someone na you know, when you played in the PBA, bubble days pa yun, di ba? Mm, pandemic. Bubble or nung, uh, I guess, yung may konting, konting restrictions. Fans, yes. you, were, you were challenging everybody mm. at the rim, di ba? Regardless of N1 bar, you got dunked on. Good advice because he stayed disciplined as we have a timeout on the floor by Finn and Claw, Carlos PH. They're down by 414 to 10. Magbabalik po tayo dito sa Pilipinas Super League.
Super League 18 under. Ito ang liga ko. Back here inside the Caloocan Sports Complex as nakikita natin ang mga nagagandahang super fans natin in attendance. Of course, mga super fans, sponsor pa rin natin ng SCD Skincare Depot. So, eh, namimili ang mga staff natin dito. Sinong pinaka deserving ng super face of the game natin, Andre? Diba? Malay natin. Tayo yun. May isang... Tayo <laughs> ah, yun. Pareho. Magtataya talaga yun ni Papa Bear. Kasi si Papa Bear, nung pro division pa niya, inaantay yung kanya sa ICD. Ay, hindi. Wala na. Maghintay na lang siya matagal. Ako na yun. Ayaw ko maging mayabang, pero akin na yun. Sorry, Dad. That's right here. Another open three-pointer. In and out pa rin. That's the Jesus. He had all day to shoot. Here comes Tai Tai. They swing it over. Triste launches it from top of the key. No good pa rin. Both teams exchanging misses. So we don't know. Ano ba kanalang? What are they trying to work on? Are they trying to do a pick and pop? Are they trying to just see where their, I guess, shooting goes so far in this first quarter? Pero both teams are struggling. So if I were them, they need to adjust by trying to dump it to the post. Just like that, what Christopher Garcia did. No, Andre, shoot, shoot the gap, drove the lane, and then finished strong to the basket. Here. They're down by two, talking about Finn and Claw, Carlos PH. Is it all triste? And I keep noticing Finn and Claw is blitzing every time they're going to the ball screen. You're not in green turn. Yeah. And you maganda, like, we can see that how strong their point guard is on Tai Tai Bills by attacking, but they are bothered by the length of Reyno on the help defense. As a jumper from the baseline, still no go. The outside shooting netong Finn and Claw has not yet been hitting. But they're still only down by two points, isn't mm -hmm. it? And you gotta give it to Finn and Flo. He's not three points, perimeter naman. Mali na din. After perimeter, inside the paint naman yan. So let us see ang kanilang adjustment dito sa few seconds ng ating first quarter. There's nine seconds left on the shot clock net on Tai Tai Builders. As there's an offensive foul whistled here on Tai Tai Builders. A moving screen wow. on number 23. Mm. Evan Sereno. Sereno and Reno Mohang, this is a good matchup. We can see how big bodied these players are. So ting na natin, are they still gonna be settling from the outside or will they be dumping the ball to the post? So ting na natin ang kanan adjustment. That's right. So 16.2 seconds na titira sa ating first quarter. And shot clock is off. So last shot time. It's all about clock management at this point for Finn and Claw. No, Andre, para hindi na bumalik yung bola sa Taytay Builders. That is true. And we, ito na, makita rin natin ang kanilang maturity on how they can manage their time. Garcia nearly lost the basketball. De Jesus from the outside. Still no go. Two seconds left. Will Taytay get off a shot? No, they don't. At dyan, magtatapos ang ating first quarter dito. Taytay Builders with a two-point lead. 14 to 12 and it was their free throws they were the ones who were shooting better from the free throw line in this ball game that's why they're up by 2 14 to 12 against Finn and Claw Carlos PH babalik po tayo dito for the second quarter ng ating Pilipina Super League 18 under NCR leg Ako si George Tibus Jamante ng Junior ng Farm Fresh Milkers Litran para sa Pilipinas Super League 18 under. Ito ang liga ko. Ako si James Ross Corpus ng Barangay na Mayan Mandaluyong para sa Pilipinas Super League 18 under. Ito ang liga ko. Ako si Andy Himao ng Farm Fresh Milkers Letran para sa Pilipinas Super League 18 under. Ito ang liga ko. Back here inside the Kalawakan. Sports Complex in Bagumbong City as this 2023 Philippines Super League 18 under NCR leg is brought to you by Manila Bankers Life Insurance Corporation. The best way to show your love 
And of course, our official basketball MDC, Skin Care Depot SCD, perfect care for your skin. A two point lead for Tai Tai Builders right here as some new players in the floor for Finn and Claw. Let's see, anong adjustments ang ginawa ng parehong coaches in their in, in huddles nila. As a layup right there, in and out pa rin. Andun na for Finn and Claw, no, Andre? Mm -hmm. Ito naman, like you mentioned, ang kanilang adjustment. Hopefully, they were able to talk about very basic shot selection. Mm -hmm. We can't, they can't just be shooting from the outside. I mean, if it's not going well for them, obviously there are other options to explore. You can drive to the basket, pick and roll. Yeah, pick and pop to confuse the defense, but then, or dump it to the post roller. So there are so many combinations and adjustments that you can be doing as a team. But I'm sure these players just want to show what they are capable and made of. So mali natin, their shots are actually going in during their tune-up games or their practices. So tingnan natin ang kanina mga adjustment ngayon. Oh, Tripster flying high for that layup. Looks like a miscommunication on the part of the bigs of Finn and Claw because usually when a guard gets from a uh, comes out of the screen, naka hard show na dapat pero wala nag hard show so he was able to drive to the basket at ease. A turnover there for Tokawi. Here comes Tai Tai Builders. Another attack to the basket. And narinig ka ata ng Tai Tai Builders, Andre. Ay, naatake talaga nila yung basket pa ulit-ulit. And you can't tell who is bringing down the ball. Is he a guard or a big man? Kasi ang lalaki ng mga players ngayon. So, we can already see it doesn't matter what position they are being given. Ang aggressive pa rin nila. Mm -hmm. And right here, I think there's a call correction right there. Great job by the head coach of Finn and Claw, Coach Jeric Bailen, for noticing nga na... Our referees pointed na bola dapat na Finn and Claw, pero binigay nila sa Taytay Builders. Mm -hmm. Well, we gotta see lang. Kasi grabe, ang bilis na laro eh. Uh -huh. uh, pati ako, nakoconfuse na rin. So, it's good to have other, you know, other people seeing what's happening on the floor. Yes, and a good drive right there. By this man, number 29, Pierce Magno. Kanina yung layup niya, nilawa underneath the basket. And this time, he attacks, he gets a foul. I think ito na yung adjustments. Ito nila, Coach Jeric Bailet. Na atakihin nila na atakihin. Kasi in the first quarter, no, Andre, they kept on shooting outside jumpers. Mm -hmm. Ito naman sa Finnick Club. Fine. Give it to them. They still, they are trying to attack the basket, but if they know they're gonna get the foul, they are good free throw shooters. So yung mga napalit ni coach, yung mga nasub ni coach inside, they are making up for the missed free throws they have. So it's gonna be hard if you are tight tight builders. Paano ka mag adjust Are you just gonna let them drive and hopefully miss or just do what you can to defend? So kung foul man, sorry, they have to make it up with their second chance points of free throw. Yes. Right here, still a two-point lead for tight tight builders. Look at this, a full-court press being applied here by Finn and Claw. Easily broken up by tight tight builders. Bulante, three-pointer. No good, but an offensive rebound for the builders. Baseline drive, still a miss. Another offensive rebound for Tai Tai. They still have the basketball. Triste. They go to the corner. Three-pointer, still no goal. Finally, Finn and Claw gets the basketball. Maybe one adjustment you can do if you know Reyno, a big man, closing up on you, shot fake and drive. There are little things you can adjust. So hopefully when they watch this again, sa kanilang gameplay or game replay, they can see the adjustments you can do. But other than that, good shot selection for it. Oh, good drive right there with number 21. Don't see Jason Tokawi. Oh, good press play. Garcia layup, no go. Let us see what can Finn and Cole be doing. Will they settle for the outside or attack the basket? Because it's ang ganda ng kanilang adjustment. And they settle for an outside shot that time, but a miss. And that's a traveling violation. Ball ah, right here. What we fail or I fail to notice is they are confident in shooting from the outside because they have a big man that can rebound for them. Mm -hmm. Pero it will only work if that's how you think is if they box out. In sa akin lang, Tai Tai Builders, Finn and Clocalas PH, you guys are not boxing out the nearest man. Kahit nakita natin, they are just jumping up and down waiting for the ball to come to them. But you have to go to the ball and make the effort to box out the nearest man. And I think that's going to be a trend in this entire tournament, no, Andre. Dahil nga bata pa mga ito, it's their first time in, I want to say organized basketball, but talagang yung gantong klase na you're being coached by high-level coaches that coached college, 
pro, pro division leagues, mga ganyan. And at the same time, ito na lang yung stepping stone. After uh -oh. this, do you have 21 under din na ating pro division. So saan ka pa pupunta? Kundi dito, di ba? Right, that's a good setup right there. And at two points for Tai Tai Builders. But Magno on the other end, once again attacking to the basket and is fouled. This guy is si Magno. Andrea, fearless. Siya. Foul on lang siya dong black shirt and he attacked the sea of white. Yet, nakuha pa siya ng, nakuha pa siya ng foul. And we were talking earlier, magpapakitang gilas siya ng ating mga players. And this is one way, you don't need to score, you don't need to have highlights, you don't need to be a player of the game if you want to be noticed by these top coaches or our professional players. Yes. Kasi yung effort, little things matter and these are the little things that coaches want to see by being aggressive pa lang. So it's gonna be a plus if they will be able to Learn from this. Uh, half time, mali mo, ma just sila. All they need to do right now as a team, and I just want to point it out, both teams need to box One out and fight for, for the ball. For to oh, there's a warning oh. on Francis Bayaka for a resentment to a call, and that's something that kailangan din nilang i-watch for nito mga bata na maglalaro. Mm -hmm. Yung tempers nila, di ba? That is true. And you know, it's more of a game of maturity at this point because these are our young adults under 18. They have all these, you know, uh, aggressiveness inside on how will they divide it Kung will they release their emotions by you know something officials or will they do it again we'll never know so hopefully they learn from this right there in your turn over it is a turnover for Tai Tai Builders Finn and Claus full court press playing dividend right there ganda ng kanan ng defense pero if you are Tai Tai Builders if you cannot you know execute sa kanyang full court uh, sa inyong uh, early offense try to set the game try to set your play kasi look you guys are tied second quarter pa lang. so wala naman naghahabol sa inyo so one of you guys need to set the tone in the pace of the game yes and De Leon comes back in replacing Bulante for Tai Tai Builders Coach Kim De Pedro ha maganda yung rotations niya yeah, palit tagad and that's an 8 second backcourt violation for Finn and Claw Tai Tai Builders with a stop Kailangan dito ang half-court awareness ng both teams. It's normal to see these types of violations kasi, you know, they are all focused on trying to execute the play, but they don't really see yung mga surroundings nila or listening to the referee, counting already. So, kailangan talaga nila mag-adjust. And the inexperience talaga is showing. It is, but some of them are experienced kaya you can see some of our teammates already shouting to pass the uh -huh. ball. Pero, yun yung maganda dun eh. We can see players trying to already help each other out. Oh, it's an offensive rebound and put back. It's good right there for Lina. Isabel. And finally, Lamang Nam Finn and Claude, their first lead of the ball game as Samson Woo! is fouled. Where did he come from? Yung maganda dito eh. You don't know if they're gonna be watching out for the ball same time when you go up the air or will they just attack you from underneath? So, grab yung speed and agility ng ating mga players kayo. Yes. And one thing that we're not mentioning, no, Andre, the no. Philippine Super League, you know, 18 under tournament, natin. this is the first. Of course, in 21 under, natin was a success from the Invitational Cup to yung talagang. Oh, that is no surprise. Yes. Bakit successful sila. And then the Invitational to yung talagang tournament natin last July and August. Mm -hmm. And then, like, of course, the Pro League tayo, two conferences of Pro League. This is the first 18 under. We're doing a service to this, these kids kasi... Oh, yes. Nung panahon nyo, mga gantong edad, di ba? Ligang barangay na lang talaga malalaro. Yes, and eh. obviously, oh, okay lang, ligang barangay. Because you get to learn from a lot of players also. Tapos yung toughness you develop from that. So, what more kung andito tayo so, under 18, they're already getting a little bit of the taste of what you can expect sa under 21 or sa ating Pro Division ng PSL. And right here, Singson with an offensive foul away from the basketball. So let's let's see right here. Yan ang offensive rebound kanina na Disabel coming out of nowhere to grab that rebound. Ang ating super grab of the game. Kita ang kita na kayo kanyang aggressive sa pag rebound, knowing na sige you wanna shoot from the outside. Ako bahala sa inyo. I will grab that rebound. And that's some player you need. Ang ganda ng kanyang adjustment. He just doesn't let another opponent box him out. He does the dirty work for himself. Totoo. And, you know, yun ang importante. No? Makikita mo yung effort sa isang mm -hmm. bata. As De Leon attacks. De Leon puts it up and in. <laughs> what a move right there by De Leon against two defenders. Against Perez. And for Perez naman, he just has need to be a little bit earlier or outside the painted area to stop the drives. But all in all, great effort sa kanyang defense. 
Delgado shoots the gap, puts it up and in, and balik ang kalamangan sa Finn and Club. Tai-Tai Builders confused on who is going to help on that drive. They already have one man in the middle sa kanilang zone, apparently, or maybe man, nagka miscommunication. So, like it or not, you just have to be more vocal as a team. Castillo hands it up to Goles. Goles gives it to De Leon, who scored earlier. They go down low. Castillo dribbles it off his foot. Here comes Finn and Claw. Delgado scored earlier, decides to slow things down. They go to the corner. Oh, good up fake. The jumper, no good. And good boxing out by Castillo, but a turn over on that outlet. Delgado. And another turn over for Finn and Claw. Here comes De Leon, the bump, the shot, no go. Third serving, wala pa rin. Wow. Look at the crowd enjoying this energy. Same as me, I'm sorry for not talking because I'm in awe at, at, at the aggressiveness of our players, oh. including dito sa Tai Tai Billers. Grabe ang kanilang aggressiveness. Pero yun nga lang, they have to find their adjustment. Or kung ano ba talaga, where will they stick to shooting from the outside, calling a play, or setting with the driving instead of shooting from the outside. So tingnan natin ang kanilang adjustment. Yes, and ito, nagpapalitan lang sila ng lead, Andre, at 21, 22 to 21. That's good backdoor play executed there. Lozano going over to Goles. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Perez of Finn and Claw is limping. So the big man of Tai Tai Builders took advantage of that. He couldn't be, he is not walking properly. So they were able to backcourt, a uh, backcut uh, play. Pero tingnan natin. Uh, let us see if he'll be subbed out. Pero... This is not a good look if you're Finnick if one of your key big men is injured. Pero mohang naman okay naman siya ngayon. Yes, and siyempre mga bata to, but let's look at that backdoor play. Lozano to Goles. What a find by Lebron James Loza Lozano. It's another turnover for Tai Tai Builders right there. And yung maganda dito, hindi ata full court defense ang ginagawa, pero they are just going near the man with the ball. So ang ganda ng kanilang aggressiveness sa defense. So this is what you want to see. Tingnan mo, the ball is with Finnegan because of their aggressiveness. Right here is a drive. Oh, what a move right there. Floating in midair. Vidalion. That is a rare play to see for Finning Glove for setting from the outside. They are now attacking the basket and seeing their strengths as a team. Yet another turnover for Tai Tai Builders. Back to back turnovers na sa kanila, Andre. Back to back turnover. So this means it's either they call a timeout to make an adjustment or their maturity plays out and see kung anong kailangan nilang gawin sa next procession nila. Delgado the kick. Vidalion back to Delgado from top of the key. No good pa rin. That is a good adjustment for Finn and Claw. Instead of shooting at once, once you get the ball, they are seeing a kind of defender to shot fake or drive. Pero yung nga lang, hindi pa rin shoot ang kanilang outside shot. So, tingnan natin ang kanilang adjustment after this timeout. That's right, Andre. 24 to 23 ang ating score in favor of Finn and Claw. Ako si James Roscoe, pus ng barangay naman Mandaluyong para sa Pilipinas Super League 18 under. Ito ang liga ko. Nakita namin yung ano yung ganda ng sistema ng paliga, kaya yung mga rules nila at kaya natusunod lahat. Kasi nanonood ako ng game eh, nung live nanonood ako ng game natin ng PSL. Nakita ko yung sistema ng tournament kaya para sa akin ha, para sa LDG maganda po kaya Yung one reason ba't kami sumali? Yung ganda ng yung pataaran ng tournament. Great. Mga, may mga dimedevelop kasi kami sa mga, bata, na mga bata sa Pampakan na gusto lang magtuloy-tuloy. Parang yung ginawa namin last year sa 21. Lalo na sa 18, halos ano, mga UAP at NC ang mga, ano, mga players na makakalaban. Nakaano na may mga bata pagdating na. Uh, asahan, asahan talaga na uh, tutulungan yung team para dito sa PSL. This 2023 Filipina Super League 18 under NCR leg is brought to you by Hotel Sogo. So clean, so good, so safe as the one-point lead for Finn and Claus. A miss there by Goles. 
tight tight builders and here comes Finn and Claw off and running. Oh good step through by Garcia Jr. Wow. Now this is the adjustment we've been waiting for. They are not setting or setting for the outside shots. Now they are attacking because Tight Tight Builders are expecting them to not drive. Kaya wala sa ng tao sa loob. Kaya magandang uh, adjustment ang ginawa ng Finn Flo at that point of the play. And again, this is the third turnover in the last two minutes for Tight Tight Builders. A turnover for Kulanay. Andre turnover story natin. 12 turnovers for Tight Tight Builders. 11 for Finn and Claw. Wow. I mean, we did not expect to have this many turnovers but they gotta give it to them they are still adjusting so hopefully sa kanila mga scouting report or when they watch the replays ma the lesson na kanila mga errors sa games nila sa upcoming games nila dito sa under 18 and Perez got that basket a good seal right there and another steal for Finn and Klo, but they couldn't complete it's a wild possession Finn and Klo gets it they go down low oh players and bodies on the floor right there Desabel sacrificing his body for that attack. If I were the coach or a pro coach or college coach, that is something you would like to see. Grabe ka niya guess it is the way to sacrifice. Usually we're used to having players sacrifice their bodies to defense. Where dito offense, no? He doesn't care. He just attacks the basket with all his might and he gets it with his second chance point. So what a way to reward himself. And actually, you'd like this stat line niya, Andrea. Kasi Leonard Desabel, now five points. Five rebounds na in this ball game in just 10 minutes of action in this first half. And I won't be surprised if he's the game player of the game. But I know it's early to say. Ang kanta kasi pinapakita. If you give your effort, if you know your role, good things will happen to you. Defense palang bumabawi siya. Offensive rebounds. Look what happens. He gets rewarded. And to think na ang ganda rin ng kanyang free throw shooting, and it's a one way for him to get a good rest right now. And maybe he'll be needed in our third quarter. Let's see right here. It's goalless. Gives it down low and a good setup job. Going over to Mark Castillo. Six points for Castillo in this ball game. Ah, Tai Tai Builders not shooting from the outside. No, both teams are attacking and shooting from the inside. So let us see. Kung anong adjustment nila. Will they defend better or will they just be more aggressive and kumafal mafal? You never know. <laughs> but unfortunately, Placido. Turn the ball over, the miscommunication right there off of the rebound. So ball will remain with Finn and Claw. But we have a timeout on the floor. Finn and Claw up by 5, 30 to 25. Right now, a minute and 50 seconds. Natitira sa ating second quarter. Timeout on the floor. We will be right back. Ako si Jonathan Moses Manalili ng Farm Fresh Milkers Letran. Para sa Pilipinas Super League, 18 under. Ito ang liga ko. This 2023 Pilipinas Super League 18 under NCR leg is brought to you by Manila Bankers Life Insurance Corporation. The best way to show your love. Of course, we are showing love. Right now, and of course, this PSL 18 under NCR leg is brought to you by Converge Fiber X. So of course, this is the best way to show our love to the youth that na support us. We begin at it, an opportunity, no Andre, mm -mm. through this tournament. This tournament and look, single round robin. If they want to come or come to the man or what? They still have 21 under. Oh. oh. Tapos after 21 under, what's next? Pro they also have pro league. So I'm damning opportunities for them, so they don't have to, you know, worry about ang kanilang future because. Yes. The miss there by Meyerhofer. Yes, that's the son of Rico Meyerhofer. Tayshawn Meyerhofer on the floor. Lozano, three pointer. Still no go. Wala pa rin conversion from the three point land. Itong Tai Tai Builders. Garcia. Vidalion, three pointer. No go pa rin. So both teams a little bit. Hap, trigger happy from the three-point land. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay nang kanilang adjustment earlier, but now they are falling in love again. Mm -hmm. Parang X. Gusto mong balikan. <laughs> Binapalikan nila ang kanilang mga errors, but it's okay. Kasi mali mo, it's part of their play. And look, it's okay. It's just their first game. It's okay to learn from this. But yung maganda nga dito, since we are on social media, may replay to. They can watch their games yes. if they want to do scouting. 
And you know, it's a very interesting to see. As you saw earlier, you saw it right, mga super fans. Coach Kim De Pedro of Tai Tai Builders. Because that's a traveling violation. Now that's the 14th turnover of Tai Tai Builders. 14 turnover. And it's just coming from, I guess, kana lang rhythm. Because mm -hmm. it's usually the traveling. But it's okay. That happens. And, you know, it's just a five point lead, five point game. So, you know, adjust na ng adjust. Ang importante sa kanila. They go to the corner. And oh. finally, the second triple is made for Fitting. And Claude De Jesus lighting it up from three point land. De Leon. Whoa! Oh. What a shot by De Leon! I will not be surprised if that is all over social media. What an amazing highlight play and an amazing way to get a good score by attacking and being aggressive. De Leon from the other side. Back to back three pointers for De Jesus. Ah, this might be the play or the player they have been looking for. This could be the play that they were designed for. So they have players from shooting from the eye trade. So what an adjustment. Goal is on the other end with a jelly layup and last shot time right here. De Jesus, he check, no go. Meyerhofer with an offensive rebound. Here's a steal. De Leon, at hindi na umabot yung kanyang layup. A late rally from both of the teams, Andre, but it will be Finn and Claw ang magbabaon ng seven point lead into the half. 36 to 29. Credit De Jesus with back to back three pointers. He now has. Nine points in the ball game. Nine points, but it doesn't matter if it's not double digits because grabe ang kanyang binigay dito sa kanyang kapunan. And I am interested, very excited. What will happen after their huddle? Because as a player, I'm always excited sa ating halftime. What they will be talking about, anong kanang key adjustment. So we might even see new plays later sa ating second half. Yan ang ating super shot of the quarter. Hatid sa inyo na Manila Bankers Life Insurance Corporation, the best way to show your love. Gabriel De Jesus, that was his second Triple two back to back three pointers nga para sa kanya. Half time po tayo dito. Half time score is 36 to 29 in favor of Finn and Claw right now. A seven point lead. Magbabalik po tayo for the second half ng laban ng Tai Tai Builders contra Finn and Claw Kalos PH. Definitely malaki in terms of organization lang. No? And then of course, number two, yung, yung kakalaban. So hindi po pwedeng sumali sa PSL nang hindi talaga ready. I think second, second tier na siya before going to the N NC or UAP nang tingin namin sa PSL kasi. So definitely uh, mabigat na liga. Okay. Mga, may mga di may develop kasi kami sa mga bata, na mga bata sa pampakan na gusto namin magtuloy-tuloy. Parang yung ginawa namin last year sa 21. Lalo sa 18, halos ano, mga UAP at NC ang mga, ano, mga players na makakalaban. Nakaano na may mga bata pagdating na. Uh, asahan, asahan talaga na uh, tutulungan yung team para dito sa PSL. Nakita namin yung, ano, yung 
ganda ng sistema ng paliga at yung mga rules nila at ang susunod lahat. Kasi nanonood ako ng game eh. Nung live, nanonood ako ng game natin ng PSL. Nakita ko yung sistema ng tournament. Tagang, para sa akin ha, para sa LDG maganda po. Kaya yung one reason ba't kami sumali. Yung ganda ng yung pataran ng tournament. Pull kami kay Boss Mohan King kasi nga uh, All out support siya sa mga bata na ma-expose yung mga talents nila. And ina-expect namin yung matinding competition sa liga. Dahil nakita namin yung mga teams talagang malalakas din. Uh, Pine-prepare namin maigi yung team namin para makakapag-compete dito sa PSL. Pull kami kay Boss Mohan King kasi nga uh, All out support siya sa mga bata na... Okay, mga, may mga dimedevelop kasi kami sa mga bata, na mga bata sa pampakan na gusto namin magtuloy-tuloy. Parang yung ginawa namin last year sa 21. Lalo sa 18, halos ano, mga UAP at NC ang mga, ano, mga players na makakalaban. Nakaano na may mga bata pagdating ba? Uh, asahan, asahan talaga na uh, tutulungan yung team para dito sa BSL. Mga, may mga dimedevelop kasi kami sa mga bata, na mga bata sa pampakan na gusto namin magtuloy-tuloy. Parang yung ginawa namin last year sa 21. Lalo sa 18, halos ano, mga UAP at NC ang mga, ano, mga players na makakalaban. Nakaano na may mga bata pagdating ba? Uh, asahan, asahan talaga na uh, tutulungan yung team para dito sa BSL. nakita namin yung ano yung ganda ng sistema ng paliga at yung mga rules nila at ang susunod lahat. Kasi nanonood ako ng game eh. Nung live, nanonood ako ng game natin ng PSL. Nakita ko yung sistema ng tournament at ang para sa akin ha, para sa LDG maganda po. Kaya yung one reason ba't kami sumali. Yung ganda ng yung pataran ng tournament. Ako si James Ross Corpus ng Barangay naman, Mandaluyong para sa Pilipinas Super League 1800. Ito ang liga ko. Ako si Jonathan Moses Manali ng Farm Fresh Milkers Letran para sa Pilipinas Super League 1800. Ito ang liga ko. Ako si Andy Himao ng Farm Fresh Milkers Letran para sa Pilipinas Super League 18 Under. Ito ang liga ko. Ma-expose yung mga talents nila and ina-expect namin yung matinding competition sa liga. 
dahil nakita namin yung mga teams talagang malalakas din. Uh, Pine-prepare namin maigi yung team namin para makakapag-compete dito sa PSL. Pull kami kay Boss Monching kasi nga uh, all-out support siya sa mga bata na ma-expose yung mga talents nila and ina-expect namin yung matinding competition sa liga dahil nakita namin yung mga teams talagang malalakas din uh, pine-prepare namin maigi yung team namin para makakapag-compete dito sa PSL Nakita namin yung, ano, yung ganda ng sistema ng paliga at yung mga rules nila at yung natusunod lahat kasi nanonood ako ng game eh nung live nanonood ako ng game lahat ng PSL nakita ko yung sistema ng tournament Great. Mga, may mga dimedevelop kasi sa mga bata, na mga bata sa pampakan na gusto na magtuloy-tuloy. Parang yung ginawa namin last year sa 21. Lalo sa 18, halos ano, mga UAP at NC ang mga, ano, mga players na makakalaban. Nakaano na may mga bata pagdating na. Uh, asahan, asahan talaga na uh, tutulungan yung team para dito sa BSL. Ako si Andy Himao ng Farm Fresh Milkers Letran para sa Pilipinas Super League 18 Under. Ito ang liga ko. Ako si James Ross Corpus ng Barangay naman Mandaluyong para sa Pilipinas Super League 18 Under. Ito ang liga ko. Ako si James Ross Corpus ng Barangay naman Mandaluyong para sa Pilipinas Super League. Ako si Jonathan Moses Manalili ng Farm Fresh Milkers Letran para sa Pilipinas Super League 18 Under. Ito ang liga ko. So to compete also and then the, to develop their skills as well as their attitude and their personality. Yun naman pinakamain goal namin. May expect namin this will be a top tournament. And then for the league naman, um, PSL is uh, maganda ang record ng PSL. Alam agad ng tao, pag PSL ang liga, maganda po ang, ang mga laro. Well, right now is... Um since si Boss Frank is ng the Letrans course, he just won the, the NCAA championship. Um, it's going to be coached under Coach Alan Ricardo's champion team, Letran. Coach Asketball is going to be there, which is always invented with Fra Boss Frank Laos. So it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a good team to watch. Ako si Jonathan Moses Manalili ng Farm Fresh Milkers Letran para sa Pilipinas Super League 18 Under. Ito ang liga ko. At nagpabalik tayo dito sa Kalohokan Sports Complex as Finin Kalos PH leading at the half 36-29 to 29 against Taytay Builders in this first game of the 2018 Under. NCR leg. Kami pa rin na inyong kasama Enzo Galarosa and Andre para sa Andre. What did you see from Finn and Claw in that first half? Why are they leading? Well, first of all, I still cannot believe this is under 80. I still think it's the pro division because <laughs> grabe ang kanilang aggressiveness and the way they are playing, the way they their maturity translates to the game. And ang masasabi ko lang sa ating first quarter adjustments. There's nothing yes. wrong with what they're doing. It's more of adjustments. What kind of adjustments am I talking about? I am talking about shot selections. And of course, if they they're they're all hungry. They all want to grab the ball, box up. That's the only important thing you have to guys remember is shot selections. And of course, listen to what your coach has to say. Yes, and that back-to-back -back triples ni Gabriel De Jesus for Finn and Klo was big to end the second half. That's why we're looking at a seven-point deficit right here sa ating halftime score, 36 to 29. And leading the way for Finn and Klo is Alexandre Gazingan, seven points in 
all seven points niya first quarter lang. He only played six minutes dahil nga three fouls na siya, Andre. Mm, sayang. So what more if he was more careful with his fouls, baka mas malaki pa ang magagawa niya. Pero that is okay because he has other teammates that are there to back him up. So yun yung maganda. Makikita natin ang kanilang adjustment. So I'm mean, very excited. They had ten minutes to talk in the dugout. Let us see kung ano ang pinag-usapan nila. Let's see how they translate it in this third quarter. Right there. They tried to set up Jesus again from the corner. That's his favorite spot. But this time they go down low to Reno. And another stop for Tai Tai Builders. Here comes Goles. He will challenge the defense. Overshoots the layup. An offensive rebound. The follow shot is good off the glass for Ang. This is gonna be, he's gonna be difficult to defend if he still develops that mid-range shot. Because mm -hmm. usually big men, when they get the rebound, they want to attack the basket. But ito, semi-hook or mid-range shot, but the master na yan, it's gonna be difficult to defend. Yes, and right here is a foul on Garcia's putback. Good positioning by the point guard of Finn and Klo, Andre. And that's what you want to see if you're the coach of Finn and Klo, no? Even your point guards are crashing for offensive rebounds. And it's not just Yushi that said, Oh, you're big, you're the one who's rebound. But this, we can see, I know I'm very redundant, their aggressiveness. Point guard man or big man, they all have the same energy that they want to bring out in today's game. Look at this fight for the basketball right here. That's a jump ball. That's how important getting the first win in this first game, no, Andre, for both of these teams. Talaga, no one's letting go of the basketball. No one is letting go, and it's all clean basketball. No one is fighting. No one is even arguing. It's just the way uh -huh. the game is played, and makikita natin ang kanilang maturity. Usually, if that happens, alam mo yung ka, you know, initan, init, nagagalit, uh -huh. pero wala. If they all understand at this age, it is all part of the game. Yes, and the yeah, kickball right there by Kulanay on the inbound. So 14 seconds reset. On the shot clock, Neto Finn and Claw. They go to Reno, but that's another turn over. Kulanay goes to Goles, and that will be a walkthrough layup for him. But we still gotta give props to our team, Finn and Claw, because they are still trying to dump the ball to their big man. So, tignan natin ang kanilang adjustment na we can see their big man asking for the ball underneath sa painted area, pero hindi siya na papansin. So all he has to do is be more vocal and position properly. Goles fights Kulanay and gets blocked by Meyerhofer. Meyerhofer, kahit alam mong walang pangalan or last name mm. ang kanilang jersey, makikilala mo na kagad kung sino dyan si Meyerhofer. Because the way he is playing is just like, it's yung kanyang aggressiveness, he knows how to use his athleticism and length. Yes, and the layup na ni Goles is our PSL super moment of the game. At it's inyo ng SCD. Skin care Devo, perfect care for your skin. That's a good tap right there by De Jesus. And you can see Andre no. Itong Tai Tai Builders, they're more going to the paint, painted area, attacking, attacking. Itong Finn and Claw, inside, outside, as they try to lob it down low to De Leon. There's a foul. I think it's on De Leon. And. About two minutes has gone by, and they are already having two. They already have two fouls. Mm -hmm. So they have to take care if they don't want to have their opponent again getting their second chance points at the free throw. Yes. And Coach Jerick Bailen opting not to play. Itong si Alexandre Gazingan. Parin. Of course, his team is playing well without him. But, you know, you'd like. To, you would like to wonder that if it's not three personal fouls in the first quarter, palang, would well, the game will. be different, diba? I, if Based on experience, when these types of things happen, you can tell he, how important he is. Because coach is not gambling him on the court right now. So malay natin, when, if the game is closer or if the game is at the fourth quarter when they need it the most, babalik yan, sigurado ako. But this guy, Gabriel De La Cruz, knocking down his third triple of the game. Nine points for him and there's another Foul drawn right here. Goal is very, very aggressive in attacking the basket. He has been challenging the big men like Reno and Perez all game long. But it's all about shooting free throws, Andre. Itong Tai Tai Builders were 5 of 16 in the first half. That's going to be a different story if they make their free throws. I don't know if it should still give them... You know, a leeway na, okay, it's first game, Jeter's first game. Pero hindi, you really have to prove to yourselves na you can play in a high level, at a high level. Kasi if your opponents for the next game is watching you, 
they will know your weakness already. Uh -huh. So it's important to mask that and make sure after this game, go back to the gym and do some extra work or work on the things you need to work on. Oh, good find by Garcia going over to the Sabel. The ball movement that Finn and Claw has been near perfect na yung second half as a jumper in and out. Tight time builders, hit up na hit up maka score dito because of the length. But Goles is there for the putback on the third survey. Wow. Talking about length, all players are using their athleticism. Ito na nga. Maybe too aggressive at the part of tight time builders. Pero tina natin kung may replay kung ano pa talaga ang nangyari dito. And in that foul, na unhappy ang head coach ng tight time builders na si Kim De Pedro. He's asking the referees for an explanation. Mm -hmm. Early offense, full court press looks like, or early pickup. Ayan, okay, half court pickup, a handing, tight end builder. So let's see, will they let them shoot from the outside or attack the basket again? Garcia decides to attack the basket. He'll draw a foul right there. Wow, Two free throws for Garcia. And he's been playing well ever since his insertion, attacking the basket. He had five points off the bench. I don't see Christopher Garcia Jr. Off the bench, five points. That's already a big number if you are trying to help your team secure the lead or trying to catch up. But with Garcia, I'm impressed because first quarter, nung pinasa pa lang niya, he's been aggressive. And ngayon, kahit third quarter, ganun pa rin siya. So you can see the consistency of this yes. player and this kid. Garcia has a long way to go and he's already matured his game. So I'm excited to see his upcoming games. And you know, I'm trying to look up his age dito kasi of course 18 under pa to mga bata na to, but some of them could be even 15, 16 years old wow. pa lang, diba? That's a, that's, there's a chance, so diba born 2005, 18 sakto ito si Garcia. Uh, you don't have to mention their year, it's okay. okay. Minamat ko sa ulo ko ilang taon eh. Huwag na, huwag na. Ako, ako 90s kid ako, so okay lang, okay lang. Ganun pala feeling nun, no, pag na-mention ang kanilang age. <laughs> Aking kasi katabi ng taon yung mm -hmm. eh, same year of, as my age eh. There's a miss. And Perez being a man, of, man amongst boys right there, grab yung rebound. Eh, no? The rebound. And of course, kahit hindi na kailangan mag-box out, maabot niya sa length. Pero, you know, basic is key. Box out pa rin your nearest man. Magno tried to feed Perez there, pero ah, natapik. What I like about Perez is the, you know, convention nawawala sa ating mga big band. The way he, kung tawag baga wheel, he don't need to yeah. position. You just have to go around or go to the opposite direction of the ball. Nagagawa ni Perez. At under 18 pa. So, grabe yung maturity niya of the game. Oh, good basket right there for Finn and Claw. Christopher Garcia. Christopher Garcia again. He now has eight points coming off the bench, Andre. Yep, I won't be surprised if you're that aggressive and that hungry to help your team. He will go a long way. Goles. Floater. Whoa. Wow. That's that a... First time I've seen a floater mm -hmm. by the elbow. That's a difficult shot to master. Oh, and there's a steal right here off the press, but a counter steal by Finn and Claw, and there's a foul. Lozano with the foul there. And I think penalty night of Tight Time Builders, so that would be free throws bullet para dito sa Finn and Claw. Defense. Usually, when you want to defend the player with the ball, I, I don't know, it's everyone's dream or my dream to steal the ball. Ito, hmm. napupunta yung ball na sa kanila kasi grabe yung, yung length nila and yung timing ng mga bata ngayon eh. Yes. So, ang ganda nangyayari. But yun nga lang, if you are too aggressive, a foul will be called. And here we go. We have Garcia again on the free throw line. That's it. Andre, let's just give some super shout-outs oh, to mga yes. super fans na nanonood. Si Marga Madeline, I think Finn and Klo, ang kanyang sinusuportahan kasi mm -hmm. Puro Finn and Claw players ang binabanggit niya. So, wow. diba? so super fans, nod lang po kayo. And syempre, comment din sa aming mga live videos mm -hmm. ngayon. Kasi nga, pwede, pwede namin kayo mabigyan ng super shoutouts. Kagaya Yo. ni Jenna Mendoza. Hi! Hi, Jenna! Ano yung maganda dito? Kahit live or replay, all we have to do is share that link. Oh, okay. Malaking tulo na po sa amin yan. And of course, yung mga idol niyong players, makikita ang love and support niyo. There's a turnover there for Finn and Claw. And tama, I, you cannot, cannot have time that word maganda no sinabi ko yung Jenna Mendoza, Andre. Alam kong maganda yun. Yon. At hindi player ang sinusuportahan. No? 
Yun liga mismo. Yung maganda. Yun, yun that's liga the thing. And that's the beauty of everything that we have supporters. Kahit kina, it's history being made. The first time taka under 18 titles, marami mm -hmm. nang susuporta sa atin. Sumusuporta sa atin. Yun yung magandang feeling talaga. Oh, sorry, miss right there for Tai Tai Builders. That would have cut the lead out to six. He's right here. Finn and Claw goes down. Look at their big man. Look at that. Three white shirts wow. converging on him. Tai Tai Builders, no, Andre, their defense is slowly but surely locking down at the mob big man confident club pero it's the fouls nila they're yes. already on the penalty kanina pa grabe on Perez three white shirts and I am I was Perez on Perez I'm gonna hurt your ear I'm gonna do damage that's, that's a good thing for Perez because he knows how valuable he is because it's grabe three white shirts on the big man that is very interesting to see because he's not a little see so mandedevelope I think Finn and Finn kanya lang pag 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 the dump ng ball sa loob ng paint for our big man. Leonard Decibel. Hello. From Kaloka, it's a hometown hero. Itong si Leonard. Ah. Oh, another near steal right there. De Leon gets it back for the builders. Samson. Wow. Good job pass to De Leon. That's a grown man play right there. What a way to read. Mohang galing sa broken play yun. And what a way to read the defense. They were not aware. But if your offense is more aware, ayan na, you will get repaid with that amazing play. And I would like to also give credit to De Leon as makikita natin dito sa replay ang ating super dime of the quarter. Atin sa atin ang J-Project Clothing Shop. Yung off-ball movement neto ni De Leon, kanina pa siya nakikita in those back cuts, Andre. And that's what's good. Consistency. If it doesn't work the first time, don't give up. Kasi those are easy shots to make. If you're higher percentage shots, sorry, yes. if you're inside the paint. And kung ma-master niya yan, you don't have to look. Just know where the guy is. Just dump the ball. Things will happen. As a sing -son misses the first free throw. But you talked about kanina yung Steph Curry effect, mm -hmm. yung kids love to shoot outside. But mm -hmm. what makes Steph Curry special is his... Movement without the basketball, oh, yes. That's what the young guy is doing. He is moving without the, without the ball. ball. He can hanap for basket cuts and easy passes and drop passes sa ilalim. So that's something that ito mga bata kailangan matutunan. Exactly, and I like what you mentioned, Steph Curry. Like, alam na three points. Hindi. There are other things you need to watch. Mm -hmm. Not just his scoring, but his ability to move without the ball. And that's what I like. What the players are doing, their ability to read the defense and move without the ball. He's right here, another steal for Finn and Claw. Magno over because the left is well misses then. Delgado jumper. No good for it. And ball will remain with Vin and Claus. Two white shirts try to go up for that rebound. Like I mentioned earlier, it is nice to see the aggressive pero talaga talaga. I hear they hear me. They have to have to hear they have to back out. Because that's the only way to control the ball is to back out and locate the ball. Singson tried to drop it off to Leonard Walayan. Turn over, Coles. Again, flying in mid-air. Here comes the Builders. Only down by six points right now. 48 to 42. And that forces Coach Jerick to call a timeout right here. Look at that. Coles tumingin pa sa likod. And an off foot. Yung kanyang take off doon. Mm, napakan, napaganda pa niya yung play. Mm. Right hand, nope, left hand. Yes, and that's a highlight for Goles and the Builders, but they're still down by six right here, 48 to 42. Magbabalik tayo sa ating laro. Na mga bata sa pampakan na gusto namin magtuloy to relate. Parang yung ginawa namin last year sa 21. Lalo sa 18, halos ano, mga UAP at NC ang mga, ano, mga players na makakalaban. Napaano na may mga bata? Uh, asahan, asahan talaga na uh, tutulungan yung team para dito sa BS. Yung, yung kakalaban o hindi po pwedeng sumali sa PSL nang hindi talaga ready. I think second, second tier na siya before going to PSL kasi. So definitely uh, mabigat na liga. Six-point lead being protected right here by Finn and Claw. 
Andre, batiin lang natin. Ang yes. team owner ng Luwit Kapampangan, Ana Manarang, is watching. Hello, hello. Oh, nice scout ang team owner ng Luwit Kapampangan. Ayun, no? No? Under 18. <laughs> First time na magkaroon tayo ng mga nagmamahal sa ating fans. And team owner watching. Oh. That is a huge wow, respect and thank you so much. Nakaka-humble naman yun. Yes, thank it. you so much, man. The team, to the team owner ng Luwit Kapampangan, Ma'am Ana Manarang, thank you so much thank for coming back. Kasi... PSL 21 under team sila and then mm -hmm. nag-enter sila sa 18 under natin and of course babalik din yan oh, yes. sa 21 under as a good stop right there by Finn and Claw and I'd like to give credit Perez for playing good defense they were trying to attack him na block niya and then umbrella defense ng taas mm -hmm. kamay stay disciplined on the lane Andre that is what you really want to see those little things you don't need to score you don't need to be in a highlight on social media well that's a plus but if you want to impress the like, team owners like uh -huh. or you mga future coaches mo, do those little things like defense put your hands up communicate mapapansin yan ng mating mga basketball heads for sure as gazingan this is his first minute since the first period after mm -hmm. getting his third foul and he launched that from 30 feet already huh? You can see, I guess, hungry na siya. He wants to show something, improve something, and we cannot blame him. Perez again with another block. His goal is over. Cooks the second serving right here. Oh, what a move! Mintis nga lang yun for Delgado. Para siyang deja vu, no? We can see both teams. They're just attacking. Grabe ang fast break. I want to know, how long do these guys last in the pacemaker test? Alam mo yung takbuhan? Oh, oh, yeah. Grabe yung kanilang conditioning. So props to their conditioning coach and sa kanilang training. Kasi, well, I don't see any players gasping for air. They are so <laughs> in shape. So gotta give props to that as well. Iba talaga pagbata, no? Oh, yes. <laughs> right here, they go to Gazingan. Oh, good drop pass to Decibel. Nice Great footwork. Traffic. Yun nga lang, 3 seconds siya. Yes. I mean, brighter side, they are not selfish. They are looking for the open man. But yun nga lang, the downside is yung kanilang awareness of the time and how many black shirts were inside the painted mm -hmm. area. So this is another chance para dito sa Tie Time Builders to cut this lead down. Again, they're doing this without making a 3-point shot. They're still 0-7, for 7, Andre, in the mm -hmm. game. Ayun ako. So all I have to say is yun, adjustment. Read the defense, see where your other strengths are as a team. Don't settle for outside shots. That's it. That's the story of the game. Adjustment lang talaga. And that's what I'll stand with until matapos ang laro is inga, shot selection talaga. Yes, and that's an unforced turnover. Goles miscontrol the dribble and much to the dismay of head coach Kim De Pedro ng Tai Tai Builders. Gazingan gives it to Delgado. They set up. Gazing and he misses right there. Still cold coming off the bench. Mm -hmm. I mean, derecho naman ng shot niya, hits the ring, but maybe a little bit of arc and more, I guess, you know, rhythm. That will help him get his shots up. Bailaga goes over to Castillo. Castillo, that's a traveling violation. Look at Perez Andre. Yes. Kanina, he was trying to block all the shots from up top. Mm -hmm. he's just moving his feet. Putting his hands up. I guess he just remembered, oh wait, I'm the biggest and tallest guy in the court. Might as well make the most out of my height and my might. And dito naman kay Castillo, what a way to attack. But to avoid, you know, lifting or traveling, maybe dribble lower. Mm -hmm. But other than that, what a way to be aggressive for both teams, offense and defense. And yun yung makikita natin. And it's going to be a trend from today until siguro the very end of this tournament as De Jesus hits his fourth triple of the ball game. Makikita natin yung raw talent pa niya. Oh, yes. Marami pa kailangan ni develop just like footwork, di ba? And yung maganda, like there's someone who told me and shared na if you beat already at this age, what else can you develop on? Ito kasi, right. not all the potential you see that you can develop, you can help on. So, ito yung maganda. Kung baga, it's just like a blank canvas. You can't mm -hmm. wait to see what they have. Like you mentioned, raw talent. So, there's so much that they can develop. So, none of them have speak yet, which is a good thing kasi alam natin, tatagal pa sila. And look at that. Speaking of raw talent, Perez knocking down a baseline mid-range jumper. Yan talaga. Look at the potential that this kid has, no, mm -hmm. Andre? And look at it, protect the paint, kaso nga lang, umabot dun sa braso neto ni Goles. Mm -hmm. Goles has been attacking all game long. He can already notice that if their if his opponent big man is still kind of sleeping yes. on defense, atake yan ang atake. And that's one way to see ang maturity ng offense is by always reading the defense. 30 Goles has been the spark para dito sa Tai Tai Builders in He's doing this 
all off the bench yung ginagawa niya. He didn't start in this ball game. Off the bench niya ginagawa. And you know you like those kinds of kids na hindi importante if I start mm -mm. the ball game no. Kasi Goles now has 15 points leading all scorers. Yeah, Andre. he just obviously embrace your role, know your role, and I'm sure wala nam, I can guarantee wala naman diva or superstar uh -huh. dito na I deserve to be the first five. Hindi. Just know your role, your time will come. Ito, first game pa lang. Goles' time has already come and it, I'm sure gaganda pa ang kanyang laro sa upcoming games natin. That's a discontinued dribble para dito kay Vidal yun. It's another turnover for Finn and Claw. That's their 18th turnover of the game. Turnover story natin, Andre. 18 turnovers for Finn and Claw. Para dito sa Tai Tai Builders, 21 turnovers. Wow, tumataas ang kanilang turnovers. Obviously, it's gonna be a different ball game, a different story kung malesen, but it's okay. Under 18 pa lang to, they are nangangapapayan. Mali natin the next games, babawas ang kanilang mga turnovers and errors. And finally, on the eighth try, Tai Tai Builders knocks down a three-pointer. LeBron James Lozano on the nun. Yes, wow. you heard me right. LeBron James. They gotta live up to the name and he is doing <laughs> it well. As Delgado with a jumper from the free throw line to answer at John Matatapos ang ating third period. Delgado knocking down the jumper for Finn and Claw and he extends this lead to five points para dito sa kanyang koponan. 55 to 50. Makikita natin, Andre, some of the highlights right here from the two teams. Ito kanina yung layup mm -hmm. ni Dizano. And it was a layup line in the first half, but syempre, both teams adjusting. And it's time, it's winning time na talaga pagbabalik natin, Andre, mm -hmm. because tapos na ang first three quarters. It's a five-point lead for Finn and Claw. This is the time na talaga makita-test yung character ng parehong kupunan. So score natin dito, 55 to 50. Kapit lang mga super fans. Pagbabalik natin, it's fourth and final quarter ng laban ng Tai Tai Builders contra Finn and Claw, Kalos, PH. So to compete also, and then the, to develop their skills as well as their attitude and their personality. You know, maybe na win goal namin. We expect namin this will be a top tournament, and then for the league naman, um, PSL is uh, maganda ang record ng PSL. Alam agad ng tao pag PSL ang liga maganda po ang, ang mga laro. Super League 18 under NCR leg is brought to you by Manila Bank Life Insurance Corporation. The best way to show your love. As our referees are just trying to clarify something. I think yung compression shorts, Andre, dahil dapat uniform yung compression shorts nyo as a team. If black ah. ang karamihan, black dapat lahat. Dapat walang may ibang kulay dyan. I see, I see. Okay, well, we cannot complain. Rules are rules. Mm -hmm. So let us see how this plays out. Well, are they going to have a sub or titik lupin ba niya? Pero uh -huh. ang adjustment ng Finn and Klong. I think they have to put in a different player. Kasi kailangan huba rin eh. Bawal mm -hmm. mong itago lang ah, yan. That's, that's the rule. That's the FIBA, actually FIBA standard rule yan eh. Na mm -hmm. dapat pare-pareho kayo ng kulay. Regardless if you're using that na kailangan mula na compression shorts or may injury kang mm -mm. pinaprotektahan dapat magkakapareho kayo wow. as a team that's well, the rule well I'm glad na walang umagal they accepted it and that's mm -hmm. one of the maturities you want to see as well as a player and as a team uh -oh. so mahirap yan eh di ba kung dala mo pote tas yung the rest of the team itim hindi ka makakapagsuot <laughs> so next game ka nalang makakabawi niya uh -oh, oh, as De Leon misses the floater fight for the rebound Finn and Claw gets it here comes Singson 
to kick Vidalio and they go to the corner De Jesus is this number five hits the top of the backboard here comes Goles for sure he will attack right here oh decides to pull it back De Leon Euro step the scoop is good for De Leon how many plays have we seen that are highlight worthy today so I'm excited to see uh, kung meron bang tayong top 10 para sa ating oh. under 18 pero ang dami niyan care of this first game pa lang first game pa lang to ang dami ng entry yun yung maganda and I like what De Leon did there the patience he was open for 3 up kick made two defenders commit attack and instead of settling for a jump shot decides to attack let's yes. like this look at that beautiful euro step there Ang ating super move of the game atin sa atin ng MDC basketball. Grabe talaga ang kanyang court awareness. You know, he noticed, you know what, we're falling in love too much sa ating mga outside shots. Let me find a way to attack the basket. That's what he did and what a way for him to get repaid. Totoo. And there's some confusion right here. Mm, what could this be? Well, it's a win for both teams because they get oh, the total model. Out. Yes. <laughs> It, this is this is a question I wanted to ask you actually, yes. Andre. Fire away. You are covering this game right now. Itong 18 under. You're mm. gonna cover multiple games, as mm -hmm. you said, Kanina. Yes. Mong, mag cover pa ng maraming games dito mm. sa 18 under natin. How does it feel na dati ikaw naman yung naglalaro dito? Pero this time the difference is we're televising the games. Now. Yes. Para sa akin is more of the shared knowledge. The knowledge I can share to our upcoming stars, our upcoming players. Because if you don't do that, obviously you're selfish. But I want all <laughs> of us to succeed. I want the young, yes. the next generations to succeed. And that's what's happening right now. It's not just me. Under 18, first time ang yari. Filipina Super League. Grabe. That is something we have to take to consideration. Because they are also helping our players develop more and we will not be surprised like what you mentioned earlier if they go back to their home schools or if they right. uh, go to under 21 or the pro league in development mm -hmm. mapapansin natin and where does it all come from under 18 well 56 players got recruited nga ah. nung pagkatapos ng pagkatapos ng 21 under 56 players na recruit sa mga different colleges and that's in the entire country, ah. from UAP schools, wow. NCAA schools, and even Safi schools sa Cebu. Ang daming na-recruit na players. And of course, I just want to give a shout-out na recent recruit ng UP Fighting Maroons, a school what? that you played for. Chris oh. Hobilia, who played for Paranaque worth around oh 21 my under. Oh this also, is exciting! Luis Pablo, also committed to UP, naglaro din yun for the passing Pirates ng 21 oh. under, di ba? So, that's how impressive yung gantong liga na nakikita natin yung mga players na yun na na, na di, Hindi naman natin masasabi na nahihinog, pero nade-develop mm, exactly. sila. They're getting their confidence through this league. Usually nga, sige, 5, 10 players, okay na. Pero 56? Yes. Is that a typo or what? That is very impressive. Talaga. And what more? After under 18, dadami pa yan. Oh, oh. So thank you so much sa ating PSL family. Oh, what a move by Brix Reno! And medyo napakiti isa doon after the shot kasi akala niya, pinituan sa ng traveling. Mm -hmm. Got away with what? He didn't get away with because he did good footwork. Mm -hmm. But what a way to put the ball up before, you know, having any other errors. Wow. Reno, ah, kalo big man lang, pero look at the way he moves. Yes, look at that shot. Ang ating super play of the quarter. Hatin sa inyo ng converge. Pang ilan nito? Pang ilang entry nito sa highlights natin? Under 18, ladies and gentlemen, watch oh, out. Diba? Under 18 lang to. Right, so many entries. Put back by Jesus. That's his first two points. Kasi puro tres siya. Mm -mm. A oh, good pass underneath, but Ang decides to pass the shot up. By Laka. Puts it up. And he'll troop to the line for two free throws. Mm -hmm. The big man of Tai Tai Builders, Ang, was already in the basket, but it's okay. Uh, I guess, you know, we can see he's not selfish. He wants to make sure he finds the open player but of course usually it's a go signal eh. Pag uh -huh. say yung bola under the post do what you can with the ball because you're not the last resort you're more of the strong option so as a big man show that what you can do with the ball so okay lang yes. yan he made an error sana sa next possession makabawi siya and he can notice na they do trust and believe in his confidence uh, and minsan kasi it's a mental thing diba? you keep on missing the entire game natatakot ka na biglang tumira mm -hmm. you know we saw that in the NBA with Ben Simmons a oh, few yes. years ago with the Sixers diba? so you know, me, me, for a young player like that, important na, you know, when in doubt, you should shoot. Yes, and ato, under 18, it's okay, it's better not to make mistakes now. So, you, not on purpose, obviously, uh -oh. but if you make mistakes, <laughs> just be confident to work on it the next game or sa practices. Yes. So, don't be afraid to mistake, make mistakes. It's a missed shot right there. Fight for the offensive rebound. There's a bell, puts it up, no good. 
Allen couldn't control it for the builders, and there's a foul. Uh, this is what I mentioned earlier, Enzo. It's nice to see they're being aggressive, but as a basketball head, as someone who likes to watch basketball, yes, importante yung box out. Uh -huh. I mean, it's okay, it looks organized as all, but you know, if all of you b big man to guards jumping up and down, you never know who's gonna get the ball, and we can only know who's gonna get the ball if you are aggressive sa pag box out. So the little things matter talaga. Oh look at that! Reno with a follow. Okay, humbling me. He didn't need to box out there. Okay, okay. <laughs> I give it to you. Use your hide and might, my friend. Look at this. They're trapping. Oh. Lozano. Goles. Having trouble right here. Finally gives it to a teammate. Trying to go give and go. Jumper by De Leon. No go. What a stop by Finn and Claw right there. Wow. You know, I don't know if I'm having technical difficulties, but the thing is, ang lakas ng arena natin yun. Grabe yung energy na binibigay ng ating fans. So, I am just glad that I can hear this noise. I just, tayo pa lang. We are just anchoring, anal analyzing the game. Pero yung excitement, what more yung mga players natin? Well, of course, yung pamilya ng mga players na to mm -hmm. ang sumusuporta talaga. And a timeout by Tai Tai Builders right here. They are down by 861. 253, 7 minutes and 8 seconds remaining in the fourth and final quarter. So to compete also, and then the, to develop their skills as well as their attitude and their personality. Yun naman pinakamingin ko namin. We expect namin this will be a top tournament. And then for the league naman, um, PSL is uh, maganda ang record ng PSL. Alam agad ng tao, pag PSL ang liga, maganda po ang, ang mga laro. This... 18 under Filipina Super League NCR leg is brought to you by Converge Fiber X. Iba na, na Converge. It's an eight point lead para dito. It's a fin and club, but the possession of the basketball is on Tai Tai Builder's side. Let's see if they can make a run, Andre. No, kasi nakita natin kanina, they can make runs. They can make runs. It's just nga, sad selections and the confidence. Yun lang talagang importante sana. Shot selection and that's it. Kasi yung aggressiveness, yung kanilang pa pakikinig sa kanilang coach. Kasi it's rare to see a player call out, a uh, coach call out a player to remind him of a play because they're doing well. If they're not being called out, they're doing well. So yun know, they're doing well. Yung shot selection lang talagang importante. I think the biggest improvement para dito sa Tai Tai Builders in this quarter, even though they're down, at this point ng third quarter, penalty na agad eh. mm -hmm. They were in the penalty na so it meant a lot of free throws para dito sa Finn and Claw. Yes. Now they're protecting the They're playing defense better, but speaking of playing defense, what a stop right there by Finn and Claw. And Finn and Claw, um, ang kanilang big man didn't have to do much effort. All he had to do is know his role, just be under the paint, put your hands up, follow where the ball is, put your body in front of your man. He can make and that's what happened. So he was able to force that turnover sa Tai Tai Builders. Yes. Right here, Garcia decides to pull up. Oh, an offensive rebound. This event, wala pa rin. Kanya pa rin. Out of rebound. nowhere, no? Oh. Now, that's what you like to see. And that's what you love to see. Look, under 18, tapos ganyang ka nakagutom sa bola. That is very impressive. Triste. With the layup in here comes the builders. And that's important, no, Andre, because they're playing defense without fouling. No, exactly. This point. So they've learned from the first and third quarter to take care of their bodies by not using it unnecessarily to grow up those fouls. And I think they heard you as a back-to-back possessions. Nag-box out na sila. Ayun yung maganda. Aggressiveness. And you gotta give props sa kanilang mga pro coaches for reminding them the little things. And 30. Goal is leading Tai Tai right here. Are they smelling a comeback? Nababa nila sa apat ang kalamangan dito. 61 to 57. Timeout on Finn and Claw right now. They're in shambles as of recently. What a run by Tai Tai Builders. 61 to 57. Five minutes and 50 seconds remaining in this ball game. Right now is um, since the boss Franklin team manager Trans just won the, the NCAA championship. Um, it's gonna be composed under Alan Ricardo's champion team in the Tran. Coach Alan, which is always invented with Fra boss Frank Lau's vision. So it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good team to watch.
Yan ang ating super moment of the game. Atin sa inyo ng SCD Skincare Depot. Perfect care for your skin. Triste with the layup right there. Ang ganda ng action natin dito, Andre. No? And mm -hmm. this is just the first game. First game. Have two more games mamaya. Ito na yung mga ibang players already warming up. So mm -hmm. what can the other fans of our PSL fans expect? Adi, of course, aggressiveness and an amazing Sunday for basketball. It's a good block right there by De Leon. Here comes Goles. Goles? He really put his head down. And talagang ginahanap niya yung spot niya kung saan siya makakadrive. As Kulanay with a jumper, no go. Offensive rebound right here. Pero wala yun. By Castillo. Good part on Castillo for boxing out. Finally, we have seen players do the little things. Oh, what a spin by Goles. Sets up De Leon from three. No go pa rin, but that's a pushing foul. I believe it's on Castillo. Uh. I mean, gotta get okay. Look at the brighter side. What a way to try to box out. At least he's putting his body. Because earlier, wala. So bunga bawi naman siya. So props yes. to him. So kahit na foul, at least they're adjusting sa uh -huh. defense niya. It's the effort talaga that yes. counts, no? Here's Garcia. A good performance coming off the bench for Garcia. Oh, stepping on the line. Usually, iman ng stepping are the players with big feet. So I wonder <laughs> what his shoe size is. Ano kaya yung size ng paa niya? Para makatapak doon. Totoo. But of course, you know, joking aside, yung court awareness, gotta know where your position is. And it's okay. First game, adjustment na nga kailangan dyan. And pa pata pa sila, di ba? Oh, yes. Minsan kasi pag naglalaro ka lang sa mga yung court sa labas, yes. di ba? Maliliit yung mga courts minsan. This is a standard FIBA standard size court. Standard or excited. Oh my gosh, can't wait for the ball. Can't wait for the ball. Pero oh, of course, look where your feet are para ma-avoid yung uh, mga turnovers na yan. But 30 goals continues to score. Nababa na niya sa apat ang kalamangan dito ng Finn Clo. Wow. To think that he came off the bench and he's producing these numbers, I won't be surprised kung siya ang ating next first five sa kanilang next game. That's true. As here's a stop. Kulanay. Battles through the defenders. Puts it up. No go. De Leon ties the game at 61. That's what happens if you're aggressive and it's a defensive man. That's what happens if redundant if you don't box out. Oh, so, oh. kailangan talaga locate the nearest man kahit hindi mo siya kaposisyon. Gazingan from the outside. No go. And Goles tracks down the long rebound. Look at the speed of Goles. Iba yung form niya sa pagtakbo. Para siyang tracking field sprinter. Oh. He knows how to put his head down. Knows how to use his speed. And very controlled, ah. Huh? Yes. And that's very difficult kasi iba yung stance mo sa pagtakbo mo mm -hmm. when you don't have the basketball. Exactly. And let's look at that putback by De Leon. And like you said nga, Andre, as redundant that is, as it is, no box out, di ba? Exactly. Kailangan yung box out. It's there, sometimes it's not, but it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. So one thing you have to learn, guys, just learn from your mistakes. That's it. And adjust. Uh, lang. Oh, a moving screen by Kulanay right there. That could have been the possession that would have retaken mm -hmm. the lead for Tai Tai. Yeah, 61 all. And both teams, they're not gasping. They're not gasping for air. So hindi naman sila pagod. I guess yung kanilang pagiging aggressiveness na wawala na. Iba talaga mga bata. No? Mm -hmm. And it's a good thing to watch kasi nakaka-hawa yung kanilang energy. Like, no, like we're watching, <laughs> but you want to play. True. But no, we're not at the right dates, but of course. Uh -huh. Oh, a good steal right there, but a counter steal by the Big Seville. man! That's an easy layup for Brix Reino. Triste. Garcia hounding him. They will reset. 12 seconds to shoot. We go to the outside. The spin move. Kulanay gets fouled. And he'll shoot to the line for two. De Jesus ang napituhan ng foul. So that's penalty na ang Pinenclaw Carlos PH dito. First free throw is a miss para dito kay Kulanay. Misses both! Crucial yun. Mm -hmm. Looks like yung kaba ang dyan na. But you never know. Kasi we really have to pay attention. Three minutes left. It's either you go all out or you slap off. Pero both teams are going all out. So let us see ang kanilang adjustment. 
Vidalon goes to Garcia. Whoa. Oh, good jab step three pointer. In and out, it was halfway down. From this position, ang ganda ng shot derecho, but yung lang, maybe a little bit of arc would have helped, pero okay uh -huh. lang, adjustment lang yan. Triste. Oh, good extra pass. Goles, back to Triste. Corner three pointer. It's good for Triste. Goles could have made that shot, could have drove, but he's unselfish. What a team player. To not be selfish, giving that extra pass and making the play look much better. Vidalon couldn't answer with the floater. De Leon with a big rebound. Two minutes and 15 seconds. Nati tira sa ating laro. Triste hit a big three pointer earlier and he's manning the point guard position right now. Triste the spin, the shot. What a highlight for Triste right there. What a way to confuse your opponent. Kasi hindi mo alam, pick and pop ba, pick and roll. So they left the point guard open. Kaya ang ganda ng look niya attacking the basket. And De Jesus gets fouled wow. on the three point shot. Landing spot foul yan. Mm -hmm. Kahit walang replay, nakita naman natin may foul nga. Ito na ang replay natin, Enzo. Look at that Triste move. Wow. One, two, three black shirts all over him. The spin cycle masterclass. Yan ang ating super move of the game. Matin sa atin ang MDC. And how about this, Andrea? The William Triste. Nine points, five rebounds off the bench. Mm -mm. A five to nothing personal run in the last 30 seconds of the game. And usually, when it comes to the first games and knowing which players to combine with, ito yung importante. The crucial games is where you prove yourself to the coach. Yes. Do, you, do you deserve the first five? Do you deserve to be the second five? Uh -huh. So ito yung maganda. Yung crucial talaga to. Win or lose, it's one way to prove to your coach what you're capable of. Kasi importante talaga, kung mga crucial parts, you want to see who will step up. De Jesus hits all three free throws and he ties the game at 66. A minute and 51 seconds first game pa lang tayo oh. nito and ganto na aganda. Championship na ba to? Hindi no. It's just the first pala. game. Opening lang natin kanina. And it's under 18 oh. ha. So hindi pa to ang pro league so grabe ang kanila maturity pa to pa kanila sa laro. Triste attacks. Triste gets the basket and then one opportunity. Taking matters into his own hands. Sige, may play tayo, may pick and roll, pick and pop. But hindi, he knows how to read the defense. And these are the little things that your future coaches, future teams would like to see. And I like the way he cradled the basketball. Mm -hmm. Sun a split cha between mm -hmm. two defenders. That's... What a way to confuse his defenders. And Triste, now with 12 points off the bench. Tahimik siya kanina, but in this fourth quarter, Nagpapakita ng gilas siya. Huh? Silent but deadly. Oh. Wow. Eight points in this quarter alone for Triste, but Decibel overcooks the layup. Reynal oh. couldn't handle it. Decibel gets it back. So, brother naman. My friends, don't forget to box out if you're listening. Yun lang, box out lang. Malaking tulong na yan. This is a big possession for the builders. Triste, the man in this fourth quarter gives it to De Leon. Here we go. De Leon. Gives it down low. Oh, it's sobrang alam for Kulana. And what a block right there by Reno. Timing ni Reno. Didn't have to jump. Wait, I'm actually taller than everyone. Let Aww. me use the length. He like punched that one out. No? He you did. Know? You can see the frustration of how much he wants to win. Goles. 20 points already for him. Mismatch. Goles. Pull up jumper. No good. And finally. A defensive stop for Vinny Glow. Mm -hmm. Gazinga puts on the accelerator pedal and there's a foul before Ooh, the shot. Oh, Enzo. Both teams are in penalty? Am I right? Yes. Ito na. They have to be careful. We have 46 seconds left. But I think if you're Coach Kim De Pedro of Tai Tai Builders, Andre, you take that foul and two yes. free throws neto ni Gazingan. Kasi that would have been a three-pointer for the Jesus. Exactly. Because we, we already know it won't be a surprise because it's fast break. Eh? Some of them, or uh, most of them, are already pulling up from the outside. So, what a way to cut it down. Gazingan hits the first the first points now since the first period. Oh. Nine, nine points for him. The timeout whistled right here by Tai Tai Builders. 69 to 68, a one point advantage for the Builders. 46.99 seconds. And you gotta be wondering, no, Andre, anong mm -hmm. mangyayari dito? 
sa huddle nitong Tai Tai Builders na you expect kasi magiging physical itong Finn Claude defense. Oh yes, I am guaranteeing sure. I am sure, I guarantee you, na kahit wala tayong makita ngayon, there's no like coverage of their huddle. They are talking about defense because as we all know, defense will translate to offense. So what we will see now, all out defense. Box yes. out, kung may screen man, is how are you going to hard show? How are you going to defend without fouling? So obviously the little things matter by staying low, staying in front of their man. Kahit hindi mo siya position, just trust your teammate who will help kung mabit ka man or what. So basically, defense is important. Yes. And communication then, diba? Oh, you yes. have to know, are you going to switch? Are you going to stay home, mm -hmm. diba? Like all else, what's gonna happen? Go mismatch. Will you let him shoot? Let him drive so you yes. can help. A lot can happen. So I'm excited to see starting last 46 seconds of our quarter. It's winning time na dito. Kapit lang mga super fans. A one point lead being protected by the builders. They give it to Triste with eight fourth quarter points already. They give it to the post. Castillo hands it off to De Leon. De Leon splits two defenders. De Leon fade away jumper. No good. Goal is trying to keep it alive. There's the stop by Finn and Claw. Kazigan, easy layup for them, and Finn and Claw is in front by one. Like I said, what a good way to play defense. Kahit lumapit siya dun sa perimeter to make his, I guess, comfortable perimeter shot na defend well mm -hmm. ng Finn and Claw. So, tingnan natin kung paano sila makakabawi sa mga next possessions nila. And Gazingan, four straight points na para sa Finn and Claw. Two free throws kanina, this time a big layup. And we've said, iba siguro yung magiging score natin if hindi niya nakuha yung 3,000 in the first exactly. quarter. Exactly. Pero yung maganda dito, like I said, I knew it, na if your coach is not using you for a while, it's because he trusts you and he knows that you can do more if, when he needs you. And he needs him right now. And yun ang nangyayari. He's able to produce numbers that he should have done without those fouls. Pero bumabawi naman siya. Ito yung maganda kay Gazingan. Yes. Right here is a crucial 26.5 seconds for both of these teams. Obviously, for Tai Tai Builders, any basket would get could get it in. Could get uh, any basket, di ba, could give them the lead. But itong Finn and Claw, they need a big stop right here. Ito na, anything can happen. What kind of inbound play? Who will they go to? Tingnan natin kung saan mapupunta ang kanilang first four. Gomez nearly turned it over. De Leon attacks. De Leon puts it up and in. And the Builders are back up by one. What a way para makabawi. Instead of setting for the outside of perimeter shot, they went inside this time. And that's the inexperience. Akala nila si Goles would step to the center line and matatawagin siya ng backward violation. But Goles with the composure to toss it over to De Leon. And look at that. De Leon with the attack and at his super play of the quarter. Hatid sa inyo ng Converge Fiber X. What a performance galing dito kay Jasly De Leon. 16 points, 8 rebounds off the bench and near double-double for him. Near double-double. Wow, what a way to show what you are made of. Crucial, huh? Oh. What a crucial. It's not even a championship game. Usually you see players like this step up about championship now. But look, it's just the first game. He's already making a statement made. And that's what you like to see kay De Leon. He is not scared. Like, yes, he missed the shot, but makabawi. And yung magusto mo makita, you miss shots, you learn from it. Usually, you make mistakes, you learn sa next game. Pero, ginawa niya na kagad at this game. And I just want to point this out, Andrea. Goles, Triste, and De Leon, all three came off the bench and they've combined for 48 points. Wow. Off the bench pa yun, ha? Mm -hmm. One more. And I won't be surprised if this will be the new lineup sa first five natin. But mm -hmm. like you said, doesn't matter nga kung ano man ang... Uh, from first five ka, second five, or third stringer, as long as you know your role as a team. Yes, and it's a crucial possession for Finn and Claude. This might decide the game. Oh! Whoa! Good tap, but Gazingan gets it right back. 11 seconds to go. Gazingan way downtown. He had six seconds found the clock, but the shot clock was winding down. Exactly. That's why he fired that. Exactly, that's why he fired that. It's hard if he doesn't play the game clock, but you can't blame him. He need to do that Hail Mary shot agad mm -hmm. to avoid any error. But yung ano niyare, he took his chances and that's what happens. Six seconds na titira and like you said nga, kasi nga, shot clock was winding down. But right here, they need a stop. Goal is it's free. 
goles, and there's the foul, and that would mean two free throws. Yes. Para dito kay 30 goles. And what a way to see kung sino ang uh, strong player nyo ngayon are shooting well. We have goles shooting well, so binigay ka kay goles knowing that their opponent will be fouling. And what a way to read that defense is to already go to your strongest shooter yes. on the team. Of course, credit. Give credit to this Thai Thai Builders team and their head coach King De Pedro for the mid-game adjustments that they made. But yun nga lang, Gomez misses the free throw and that has been the trend in this ball game for Thai Thai Builders. Mm -mm. It's either yun nga, they may be strong when it comes to their free throw shooting, but it all comes down to the last few seconds. Kung yung kababalalabas or is it just because they are tired? So we never know the story. Gomez makes the crucial second free throw up by two on Builders. 4.1 seconds. No timeouts for the Finn and Claw. Carlos PH. Garcia. Garcia. One second. Good shot. And the Builders steal this one from Finn and Claw. What a win by Tai Tai wow. Builders. What a game. And this is just the first game. Wow. What a stop. Tai Tai Builders hang on to their three players coming off the bench. Triste, of course, goes Goles and Sid De Leon mm -mm. in the last two minutes. All of those points came by those three players. Exactly. Under. Like earlier, we were talking in the second half, their adjustments. It didn't matter anymore in the last few seconds because it's a good box out, shot selection. They did everything. The shot selections they made, they were not falling in love with outside shots. They were attacking the basket. The story that made it for them is the way Deleon attacked the basket. So it was so different from the way they started the game from setting from outside shots. So grabe ang kanilang adjustment. So it is no brainer that they deserve this win dahil nga ang bilis nila mag-adjust kaagad. That is our final score. 72 to 70. The Tai Tai Builders ang nakakuha ng buena mano sa ating wow. duelo. Right now and what a ball game. What a win for them right here. And grabe, Andre, no? They were led by three players in the last two minutes. Oh coming off the bench, 49 points combined. off the bench combined. Si Triste, De Leon, and itong si 30 goles. What a performance from those three players. What a performance and what a way to adjust. I know people are listening and watching. Parang silang plaka ba kayo? No! <laughs> it's just the way it is. The little things matter. What is very important is the way you adjust and yung, kanan, and kan yung team chemistry. And nakita na natin, the few seconds left, that's when lalabas talaga ang mga laro ng ating mga players. And, you know, ang mahirap mamili ng best player. It is diba? so difficult. Yun, that is difficult. That is difficult. it's clearly 30 goals, 21 mm -hmm. points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, off the bench. Off the bench. All around performance for this young kid. Mm -hmm. And this is just the first game. Makikilala pa natin siya as the tournament goes yes. on. Yes. And again, let me remind you guys, this is under 18. Hindi to yung 21 under pro division. Mm -hmm. These guys are playing very hard very aggressive and that's the way you want to see philippine basketball play ang ating philippine super league yes and you know for fin and claw ph fin and claw carlos ph back to the drawing board it's just the first game you yes. still have 17 more games to mm -hmm. go in this long 18 under tournament diba? yes and i'm so thankful guys sa philippine super league for this amazing copy i can't believe it under 18 parento so i am just excited to see our second game our third game and yes. the upcoming games and of course yung exciting dyan, yung mga adjustments na mangyayari Yes, tama ka dyan, Andre, kasi nga, coming up next is the second game ng ating opening day dito between Calamba City Patriots versus LDG San Pedro. Two Laguna teams are wow. going to face off. Pero dyan, magtatapos ang ating first game between Tai Tai Builders and Finn and Clocalos PH for Andre Paras. This is Enzo Galarosa and on behalf of Direct Nomar Santiago, Direct Jmar Binos and the rest of the hardworking men and women ng Pilipinas Super League from the Caloocan Sports Complex in Bagumbong, Caloocan City. This has been your 2023 Pilipinas Super League 18 under Luzon and NCR leg. Ito ang liga natin.